safety of residents in, in tower blocks in particular and the buildings um, has come into focus quite a lot since the Grenfell incident. The legislation in the UK was previously uh, for buildings over 18 metres to require fire sprinklers fit in residential buildings. It's changed very recently um, to 11 metres. Birmingham City Council decided to retrofit sprinklers into all of their high-rise housing stock. It's 205 blocks across the city to basically make the buildings as safe as they possibly can. So we're currently going into all the flats and installing the sprinkler systems in every single room bar the bathroom. It's basically for their safety, not just for their safety, but the flats above them, next to them, just the general block safety. So there's a lot of families that live in the blocks. Significantly increases the safety for the tenants and the building itself as well. So in terms of safety for the residents, it means that they've got effectively a firefighter in their flat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. Fire service attend fires within five minutes. In that time, the fire is growing. A sprinkler system will hold that fire back and hopefully even extinguish it within that time, making it safer for crews to enter the building and making the return of the occupants to the flat much quicker. In terms of the residents, there's, there's very little disturbance to them. It's a two day process to install the sprinklers into each flat. It's the first day is the sprinklers that get installed and then the second day is then the, uh, the boxing that sort of covers the, the pipe work. So no, there's not really much disruption. And to be honest with you, I'd say 95% of the tenants are quite willing to have the work done. Okay, so far across the project, we've installed around 92,000 metres of Blaze Master pipe work, feeding 23,000 sprinkler heads to date. We expect that to be more like 120,000 metres by the end of the project. Within a building, generally there are passive fire protection systems such as walls and floors which will resist the fire and contain it but only sprinklers will extinguish or hold back the fire it's the, the best option they've got available to them to make the make the building significantly safer to so just save lives basically